Then he comes part C, which is about friends and inviting others to parties. We have first that Alice is the friend of Bob, Bob is the friend of Alice, Eve is the friend of Alice, and Alice is invited to a wonderful party. And we also have that for every X and Y, if X is invited and Y is a friend of X, or and X is a friend of Y, sorry, this is the way I was reading it, then Y is also invited to the party. Then let's go quickly because now we know well how to do it. The Herbrand universe contains these constants, Alice, Bob, and Eve. And I will write only the, the initials also. Alice, Bob, and Eve. Now the predicates that we have are friend and just invite. Sorry again, friend has two arguments and invite has a single argument. So then the Hebrand base are all the ground atoms that we can construct with these predicates using these ground terms. So then here we have some combinations, right? Because for friend, there are two arguments so, and there are three ground terms. So it's three times three, nine ground instances, while we will have three for invite. So then let's go here in order, friend A. Oops, first I, we have to consider only friend A, A, friend A, B. And let me move this then a bit here to the left so that things fit. And I also have, we also have friend A, E. And then we go with friend B, A, friend B, B, friend B, E. And here with friend now we choose first E, if, and then we have all this. And we also have the ones for invite, which are just three, because invite only has one argument. Invite A, invite B, invite E. And that was it. And let me move it a bit more to the left so that. Oops. Let me do it correctly. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, like that. I think that's nicer now. Good. So this was the high brand base. Now we have to do the the ground instantiation of the program. So we have ground of P and let's see if I can already copy these because these are facts. So then I should be able to copy and then here to paste. So yes, this already come here. That was nice. And then I just need to do the ground instances of this rule. So basically what I have to do is to replace X and Y by its combination of the ground terms in the, of the Hebrand universe. So we have again, quite some combinations, exactly the same as here, nine combinations. <clears throat> and these are, I will write them down here. So we have X, Y, then we can have all those A, 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 B, A, E. B, A, B, 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 E, and E, A, E, B, E, E. Okay, then all we have to do now is to, to write the rule here, replacing X and Y by each of this one, this pairs. So we have invite A, if invite A, friend a a and now i will do this next eight maybe you want just to to scroll forward
just remember this was friend of I rather copy this here so that I can see it. And now the last three. Ba -ba -da -ba. This is an E. Then the last one finally. Good. So this is the ground instantiation of the program. Again, we have the facts here, and then we have replaced the rule with variables with all the possible combinations of X and Y. So let me just check. We had the invite. So we have the x here, the x's, which are also these ones, they should be the same, yes. And then you have the y's, which are here, that should be the same as these ones, right? And this is the case, yeah. a, b, a, b, a, b, oops, look here. There's a mistake here. Good. You see, it's nice that one checks so that one doesn't make mistakes. Invite of the. I think this is also maybe also something useful for you to 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 realize that you have to check the exercise, and this is a one way of of doing it, right? To say you have the x here, so this should be the same as this one there. So then you can see that the constants here are the same. And then the y's should also be the same. Maybe la 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 la, and here. That's it. Then we know that this is correct after check. Good. <clears throat> then now we just have to find the, the stable model of this program. And let's do this quickly. So all these facts will belong to the stable model of this program. And now let's see if we can obtain any more facts with, with the... Um, with the rest of the program. Um, well, you know, here I've used the, the, the whole names, but well, here we just use the initial, but I think we all, we all understand what we mean. And um, then, so here, you know, I could start looking for friend, friend to see what fires, but the simplest, what rule fires, but the simplest thing is to check for this invite Alice, because there's only one fact of this invite and it's in these three rules. So with invite Alice, if I have some friend a something, some friend Alice something, I may derive something. Yes, yeah, so then I have, oops, I have friend Alice Bob that is here, and I do not have friend Alice Alice or friend Alice Eve, but I have here invite E, then I can derive invite B. So basically this means that given that Alice is invited, Bob is also invited. And now with invite Bob, we can maybe fire some of these rules. So we need some friend of Bob is 
Alice. The friend of Bob is Alice. So then we can trigger this rule and we get invite A. But invite A is Alice and this fact we already had here. So there's nothing else. We are not deriving anything new. And now with the other rules, we do not have friend Bob Bob or friend Bob Ip. So we cannot derive anything else. Hence, we know that we have just found the unique stable model of this positive logic program. And uh, just so what I've done is to compute the stable model using the definition, right? Let me write it down first. So the stable model is this friend, Alice, Bob, friend, Bob, Alice, friend, if Alice, invite Alice, and fortunately for him, Bob was also invited. Good. So uh, basically what I've used is the definition that we have seen where uh, a stable model of a logic program with variables is uh, is the stable model of the ground instantiation of the program. But being a bit more clever, in a way, we could have used directly the, the original program to find its stable model, right? So we could have reasoned as follows, and I will do it, yeah, I will do it uh, already here at the top. So given that these are facts, we know they will belong to some stable model. And now we have this rule, which has va variables, but we can, in our mind, think about at the same time about all possible ground instances, or just think about the variables. And then we, what this tells us is that if we have invite and friend event of something, and friend of that something, and other thing, then we have invite of this other thing. So then we can directly, from this rule, derive with this invite Alice, and friend Alice Bob, invite Bob. Right? By triggering this rule with this fact and this other. And with these facts, we cannot get anything else from this rule. But now that we have this one here, we have invite Bob, so X becomes Bob. And then maybe we have friend Bob and something, we could derive something else. And actually we have friend Bob Alice, so we could derive invite Alice, but we already had it here, so then we can stop. So this would be also another way that would we could another method that we could use to reach exactly the same stable model with this one, two, three, four, and five atoms, which is exactly this one here. Good. So that was it. Let's move to the next one.